This is Jay's first time having a McGriddle. She's never had a McGriddle before. It's good. It's good. It's weird though. Agreed. Because you don't expect the like maple and then it's like BAM! Maple. Oh. And she soaks her finger. Because it's infected. Because Doggo ripped off her nail. Mm -hmm. Almost. Good times. But like ripped the side of her finger nail. Yeah. It's really gross. It's pussy. It's not that bad. It's gross. You can't tell. It's gross. It's not that bad. Nasty. Okay, well, what? she got excited. I have to puppy sit, well, it's not really a puppy, but I have to dog sit these animals. And one of them is a big, like, Bernese Mountain Dog part thing. I don't know what other part it is, but it's a big dog. And when it sees other dogs, it gets really, really mad. So it starts barking and pulling on its leash. But its leash is like chain mail because it has, if it's not chain mail, it'll break. So my nail got stuck in one of the chains and she saw a dog and freaked out. And now it's pussy. <laughs> it's my story. It's that one. Ew. It's not that bad, but it really hurts. Ew. I am animal sitting this week. So this is Jordy. She likes to cuddle. This is Daisy. Hi, baby. <coughs> Dixie is a barker. Come here, Dixie. Here she comes, ready? Come here. That's Dixie. Our bird friend is in the cage right now. And his name is Pee Wee, but he's on timeout because anytime I take him out of the cage, he refuses to go back in, doesn't he, Jordy? Yes, yes he does. So he's on timeout for right now, and he'll come out later tonight. But, oh, sorry, Daisy's mad because I stopped petting her. <laughs> I am the animal whisperer. They also have two bunnies, which are Easter and Tintin, but they don't do much. They just kind of sit in their cage. And they also have a hedgehog, but they're in the other room. I had to come Saturday, and I came Sunday, and then today, and then tomorrow. What are you doing, mister? That is not for you. This is what she does all the time. And it's really funny. And she gets really upset when I give attention to the other animals. She throws a hissy fit. Are you done? Watch, ready? Three, two, one. She's been doing this for the past like three minutes. I don't know what she's doing. Dixie. Are you done? Okay, so Jordy is basically a dog. When you scratch under her chin, she'll like literally, her leg will go like a dog. No, you're not gonna do it because I'm filming. Oh, there you go. And her little leg goes like a dog and it's so funny. Ready, go. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this week's reading vlog. This week is the worst week in the entire month slash year because my parents went to Alaska for their 30th wedding anniversary, which like awesome, great for them, love that for them. But that means that my mom, who is like my all time best friend, I love her to pieces, I'm obsessed with her honestly. She's left me for an entire week all by myself and I'm just not handling it very well. I just wanna be with her all the time. So now that she's not in the house, I'm just like lonely and miserable. So the dog sitting has definitely helped with that. At least I have somewhere to go. I also took 35.5 hours of work so that I can like distract myself and like not realize that she's not here. But it's day three right now. She comes back Saturday. She left last Saturday. I'm just straight up not having a good time. I've just been trying to like have people or things or distractions so that I don't realize that I'm alone. So I've already been to see the animals twice today because I'm just a lonely motherfucker. So <laughs> it's fine. I have been reading to pass the time. So I'm currently reading Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. I honestly don't know what I feel about this book. It's interesting to say the least I guess. It's a Wizard of Oz retelling. Like I don't know if I like it or not. It's like 450 something pages long. I'm 105 into it. Yeah, Like that's, I don't really know what I think of it. I like that Dorothy's like evil but like the main character Amy is just like such 
not a good person and like I don't care what happens to her. I'm going to go listen to more of this and then I have work at 4 o'clock today till 8.15 and then I'm gonna go see the dogs again, let them out all that fun stuff. It's now Tuesday and I just got back from seeing the animals. It's around 1.30 now. I have to work today at 4 till 9.30 and then I'm gonna go see the animals again for the very last time because my hairdresser's coming back from Tennessee which means I don't have to watch them anymore which I'm kind of like bummed about not gonna lie because they've kind of like filled the void of my mom being away so like I had somewhere to go I had something to do but you know until Saturday like I'm gonna have nothing that I have obligations to do other than working I'm going to probably go read now until I work at four just because I need to distract myself I got to talk to my mom a little bit today because they're on shore so they can actually text so I talked to her for like five minutes which like you know is not long so I'm depressed still but I'm fine they're coming back Saturday so we're gonna make it through but I guess reading update for now I am on page 166 of Dorothy Must Die still nah. I feel like I'm so far in the book but nothing has really happened like there's not really a plot other than Dorothy's evil and the main character has to kill her but it, she's like training right now to kill her. I don't know, I'm not really like into it. I don't know if that's because like I'm just not in a good mood because my mom's not here or if I actually don't like the book. So I don't know, I'm in like a weird mood with reading right now because like I want to do it to distract myself but I'm also just like, I don't want to read though. So maybe I'll just like go find a TV show or movie on Netflix and binge that so I don't feel as miserable. Ah, this is why I'm never gonna live by myself because I need constant attention and I am not getting my constant attention. So I found out that I get to spend a whole nother day with the animals. Oh, whoop. My hairdresser's plane got delayed so I get to spend a whole nother day. I'm with Jordy right now. His head is currently just attached to my body. Daisy's over on the couch just chilling. Dixie's on the floor. Pee-wee is in his cage. What? Am I not paying enough attention to you? Pee-wee's back in his cage. Finally got him back in there. Now he's just chilling. Rabbits are just chilling. Hedgehog hasn't moved in four days. Thought it was dead, but uh, we poked it and it rolled over. So we're still good, not dead. <laughs> Hi, baby. Not <laughs> you. Hello, weather baby. Are you coming up too? Are you coming up? Come here. Not you. <laughs> I said Jordy. You're not Jordy. Okay, well. Dixie, you stinker. Sorry, Jordy. Your spot has been taken. How do you feel? Oh. Oh, oh, that was so nice. Good girl. And Daisy's over there. Yep, headbutt. What does that mean? You want, you want pets? Today is the final day with my animal friend. I'm gonna be leaving in a, like five minutes probably. And then gonna go home and probably read some more. I worked this morning 7.45 to 12 and then I have to go back for 5.15 to 8.15. And then I don't really know what's happening after because I won't have to go see the animals. So we'll probably just end up reading. We'll see. It's 4.30 on Wednesday. I just finished a book that I've been reading for the past like three reading vlogs, I think, because I just haven't been in the mood to hold a book. But I finished The Best Lies by Sarah Liu. And this is like a book that was all about like obsessive friendship. This girl named Remy had a boyfriend named Jack and a best friend named Elise. And then Elise shot Jack in the chest and claimed that it was self-defense. And then it was like Remy trying to figure out if that was actually the truth or if it was something like more sinister. And I'm giving it a 4.5 out of five. I think that it took me so long to read just because I didn't want to hold a book for the longest time so I've been solely like listening to audiobooks but I was at work this morning 
and I got like halfway through the book and I was like hooked on it. So basically when I got home from the animals, I've just been binge reading this. So I finally finished it. When I heard the synopsis of it, I thought that it was gonna be a book that I probably gave a really high rating to. It just sounds like right up my alley and I was right. Like I said, 4.5 out of five. I'm probably gonna start Wilder Girls by Rory Power tonight at work. I work from 5.15 to 8.15, like I said in the previous clip. It's 4.35 right now, so I need to go make my lunch, well, dinner, I guess, and then I'm gonna go off to work. I think Ricardo's coming over tonight, so I'll probably update tomorrow. We don't really do anything but binge watch Friends because we both never have seen the entire thing all the way through. We're on season nine, episode like four, so we're almost done. That's not really exciting vlogging material, so I'll probably update you guys tomorrow. <laughs> You really enjoying it? <laughs> and his vomit. <laughs> okay, weird angle again. It's Thursday. Um, our mail just got dropped off. So I figured I would open the two packages that were in the mail today. One is from Tor and one is from Penguin Random House. So we're gonna open the Tor one first and I think I know what it is because I want a giveaway from them off of Twitter so I'm pretty sure it's probably that it's such a pretty cover I love this okay so it's the night jar by Deborah Hewitt from what I can remember of the synopsis it's about this girl who lives in like an alternate London and there's these things called aviaris and that means that you can see the birds that like protect human souls and her friend gets like hit by a car or something like that and she has to try to find her friend's bird before she dies something like that I'm honestly not 100% sure, but it says Alice must risk everything to save her best friend and uncover the strange truth about herself. I don't know, but I think that the cover's really pretty. I think that it sounds cool. I didn't explain it very well to you guys. It's supposed to be out in September, so you guys will be able to pick it up soon, but who knows when I'll actually read it because I'm always behind on everything. So now for Penguin Teen. They put me on their like blogger list, so I'm actually super excited. Ooh, okay. So the first one is War Girls. This is by Tochi Onyebuchi. Definitely saying that wrong. I've seen so many people on Twitter receive this. It's a Black Panther inspired Nigeria where two sisters have to like fight to get back to each other. But I think it sounds so good. And this cover is just stunning. I'm so excited about this. So thank you so much to Penguin Teen for sending me a copy of it. I cannot wait for this. And then they also sent me Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. I read I Am Still Alive by her and I think I gave it a 3 or a 3.5. I don't actually remember but it was like a survival story. But this one is a thriller. It follows this girl who is trying to save her sister but the only way to save her sister is to go down this road where a ghost lives and it's like the story of that. I'm really excited about this one because I'm a huge thriller fan, but I just also think that this one sounds really cool. This one's September and then War Girls is October, so I'm really excited. Thank you so much to both Penguin Teen and Tor for sending me copies of these books. I'm going to dive into them, but not until much later. And then I guess while we're here, we can also do a reading update. So for Dorothy Must Die, I'm now almost 200 pages in, 196 and still meh, you know? Like I still don't think anything has really happened plot-wise. She's still training, trying to defeat Dorothy. So I'm almost halfway through. I mean, not really. I guess I'm still pretty far from halfway, but I don't know. It's not that exciting. I don't care for it. It's probably gonna be like a two star for me unless something really exciting happens. And then Wilder Girls, I'm like on page three, so page six. So I can't really say much about it. I haven't read enough to really have an opinion yet, like literally six pages and it was just saying that they stopped wearing dresses and now they wear jeans. Ricardo left around one-ish. He works at 2.30. I work 5 to 9.30, so maybe some reading will be done, but I'm working with two of my favorite people tonight. So realistically, no reading is gonna get done. I'm just gonna shoot shit with them. Probably update you guys tomorrow. It's Friday, which means one more day till my mom comes home and I'm so excited. 
It's currently 2.04. I got home from work at 12.50ish, took a shower, need to go make my lunch, and then 5 o'clock I'm going back to work until 9.30. I figured I'd give my reading update for today, tonight, whatever, because I'm not going to after I'm done work since Ricardo is coming over. I have read 244 in Dorothy Must Die now. Still not loving it. Probably still a 2 out of 5. Still nothing has happened. We are officially 50% in though now. Still have not read any more of Wilder Girls, so no update on that either. So really this reading vlog is a failure because nobody's actually reading in it because what is reading? We don't know. We're just missing our mom. So like I said, tomorrow she comes home, but not until 11 p.m. I work 9.15 to 4.45, so I have a little bit of a distraction. So we're doing okay. We're living the life, you know, but I'm really excited for her to come back. So <laughs> I'm gonna go make food now. We got a whole ass meal. And you can't eat it because it's too spicy. But it's like 12 o'clock at night and he got all of this food that I can't eat. That's it? What's it? The Sundays. Oh yeah, it's always the biggest line. Okay. I don't know where we're going. All right. So we are at the <laughs> Winona Peach Fest. Peach Why do you want a peach fest? You're like run into people. You're blocking the camera the whole time. I am not blocking. Okay, we are at the Rhino and a Peach Fest. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody's waiting in line for a crepe, and I think we should get in line for a peach crepe. I don't want a crepe. I just want an ice cream. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna like go through the footage and just be like, what was this band? Okay, hey, where's the biggest line though? So this is the line for the peach Sundays. This is Canada famous. Do you have comments? I want a Sunday into the line too long. Peach Sunday acquired. I'm so happy. He's so good. This is like the staple of the Winona Peach Festival. It's in your beard. Oops. They are all very from there. I love how you're touching every single one of them. I want everyone to know my mother's coming back in an hour. He's sleeping, but an hour! <laughs> an hour! I'm so excited! And we're watching Friends. Okay, bye. Yes, me just being oh, miserable. So oh no. Is it's it just, I'm straight up not having a good time. Oh. But she's back, so we're good. But I have to end the vlog now because I'm starting a new vlog because today is HCC Frenzy Day. So there's gonna be a whole separate vlog for that. So thank you for joining us for this week's reading vlog. I'm now happy because my mom's back. And stay tuned for HCC Frenzy. Bye. <laughs>